made their way to Washington, D.C. this week, hoping to offer advice on the House and Senate farm bills as they gain momentum, inching towards the president's desk. RFD-TV's Sarah Mock has more. Farmers delivered a petition with more than 4,000 signatures to the office of Representative Steve King this week, asking he withdraw his amendment to the House Farm Bill, which they say is bad for small and mid-sized farms. What it does is strip the states of all local control, especially when you start getting down into the local food stuff. You know, certain states want to do certain things and other states don't like it or the industry doesn't like it. So they came up, can come up with this King Amendment. This amendment is just one part of the House's farm bill that some farmers have taken issue with. Producers have also expressed concerns about changes made to conservation, rural development and energy programs and even the nutrition title. And I think when we looked at those cuts, you know, so many people think those are urban and suburban cuts. In my state, the highest percentage of those were seniors in very outstate Missouri. I think those were some short-sighted cuts. So I think that's why the farm bill really suffered what it did on, uh, on the House side. You saw those on the on the left and the right both seem very lacking with the Senate passing their version of the bill out of committee this week farmers are also celebrating some victories including the passage of an amendment that young farmer groups hope will support new producers and help them invest in conservation early in their careers so what we advocated for was something called a micro equip which is a which is kind of setting aside a small portion of those, those a kind of a pool of those equip contracts and making them available to smaller scale farmers so that those farms could kind of have these contracts set aside so that they could compete uh, on a more even playing field. Overall, producers say that with low commodity prices and tremendous market uncertainty, ensuring that farming is still an option for the next generation is key. That starts putting a priority on young farmers, beginning farmers, returning farmers, local agriculture to start building that pathway. We have to build that pathway for the next generation. Both versions of the Farm Bill still have to be passed by their respective full chambers and then combined through what could be a difficult conference process, which farmers say means there's still time for lawmakers to make improvements to the measure. For RFD TV, I'm Sarah Mock in Washington. Though Iowa Representative Steve King was not there to receive the petition to withdraw his amendment, a staffer did receive it and spoke with the farmers on his behalf. All meteorologists